So welcome to another Machine Monday. Today I want to talk to you about uh, a component that is in everybody's vehicle and that's the differential. So before differentials were invented, we used to have a fixed axle between uh, the, the two driving wheels. And the problem with the fixed axle between the two driving wheels is that as the vehicle goes around a bend, what, what is required is that the outer wheel has to travel at a much faster speed than the inner wheel because obviously the outer wheel has to go a much further distance within the same period of time. And so that wasn't really uh, an effective way. Tires were being worn out. And in fact, very early vehicles only were driven by one wheel. If you're interested to know more about how a differential actually works and the details behind it, I've linked in the comments below my favorite video. But essentially what a differential does is it enables power to be delivered to both wheels and also allows one wheel to travel uh, at a different speed to the other wheel, allowing cars to go around the bend much more effectively. And what I want to zone in on is the two main components within a differential, and that's the ring gear, which takes power from the engine or the drive shaft, and the actual differential itself, that actually distributes power between uh, the, the two driving wheels. And in, the, in particular, there's an important measurement called backlash. And backlash is basically the, the play between these two gears. So you can see if I, if I set the, the, the positions incorrectly, I have a backlash that's too big or a backlash that's too small, and both have consequences on the fuel efficiency and the wear of the component. Let's take a closer look at what backlash looks like on a differential. So here we are with a completely, well, almost completely assembled diff, and I wanted to take this measurement uh, with the dial gauge to actually show you what the backlash is. So as I rock the ring gear backwards and forwards, the way it's meshed to the pinion gear is the measurement uh, that I'm talking about, backlash. And the reason why backlash is so important is because it has a huge influence on the efficiency of this differential as well and indirectly or directly affects your fuel efficiency of your vehicle. So as we move to try and make cleaner, greener cars and make them more fuel efficient, that obviously saves us money, uh, key measurements like backlash become even more critical. Here's another Machine Monday.